string number four, notes on the D string. So the first note is open D, and then first finger goes on your first tape, which is the note E. So here we go, number one. One, two, three, four. Rest, rest. Now we're going to do number two, and we're just going to do the top, I'm going to do the bottom. Here we go. One, two, three, four. repeats. So once I'm done with measure two, I'm going to go back to the beginning of measure one. Then I'm going to go forward. <clears throat> I'm not going to stop. And then when I go through measure three and four, at the end of measure four, I'm going to return to the beginning of measure three, where those facing dots are. And every time we see that, that's how we're going to handle that. So here we are. I'm redoing number three. I'm doing number four. <clears throat> one, two, three, four. one and two down. So don't only put two, keep one and two down. Okay, so number six, there are three sections to this. They all have repeats. We're going to do all the repeats. Here we go. One, two, three, four. when you're not using them. Whoops, here's the second part of <laughs> exercise six. There we go. Sorry for stopping. One, two, three, four. <laughs> your first song. Here we go, number seven. One, two, three, four. to do it at home. She's on eight, I'm on nine. One, two, three, four. Great. 10, 11. 
We'll go a little bit slower in this one. One, two, three, four. training is complete without our next piece. Mary Head of the Lamb. Here we go. The goal here is to make it clean. One, two, three, four. to third finger, F sharp and G are a half step apart, therefore your fingers will touch when they are on the fingerboard. So on the two, when the two is on the tape, and three is on the tape, they have no space, hopefully that's in the camera, in between at all. <clears throat> all right, so let's do 13 with repeats. This is a, a really good one, really good to get your fingers in line. And again, when they're not in use, keep them hovering anywhere over the fingerboard, even if it's over the E string. One, two, three, four. Touches two. Very good. All right, <clears throat> fourteen, fifteen with three repeats. Same idea as before. to 16 and we will do the repeats um, there's a bow lift note that and when you do the repeat you will be starting on down bow again which will feel natural to you probably here we go one two number 16 three four <laughs> and start getting your fingers more agile. So now 17 is a very similar idea. So we are definitely going to do the repeat on this one. In fact, for the first half of 17, you don't have to do just one. You can keep repeating it until you get faster and faster. Let's do it fast for fun. One, two, three, four. <laughs>
challenge yourself on speed there after you get good at that. All right, here's number 18 with repeat. One, two, three, four, do more repeats on that that's another one to get your fingers going a little faster okay now we're on to lightly row one of the most famous beginner violin songs in my opinion don't you think i do and and for many other instruments as well so it's a good one because there's not that many notes but it sounds nice so on this one this is all exercise number 19 so if you're playing the top line you have to go to the top line of the next section of of things so it might look like the third line, but it's not. It's actually the next line. Um, similarly on the bottom, they have all open strings, so the bottom would then skip again and go on the bottom of the next group. Um, they're, they're distinguishable because the bar line connects the two staffs or staves, as it were. All right, so anyway, sh I'm gonna, uh, Marie's gonna do the top and I'm gonna do the bottom. So I have the harmony and she has the melody. Here we go. One, two, wait, let's see the speed. Okay, a little slower. One, two, three, four. Enjoy a warm up, and um, I'll play the top. Marie, you play the bottom. Okay. <coughs> Beethoven there, which I, I did inadvertently. Did you do a bow lift? I did not do a bow lift. Perfect, so do it like that. <laughs> okay, because they're different rhythms anyway. All right, and that is the end of this video. The next two are a little more advanced. Feel free to, to work on those. Stand by me needs to be quite fast before you hear it. So if you try it and you don't hear the song, that is why. Don't fret. We can get to that. All right, I think we got it covered, right? Great, yeah.